Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kalari Dajna. Today I'm going to do the second part of the spear wielding. Okay, here we go. Last time, summarizing, we have had three basic movements. One, two, and three. This one. Today, I'm going to teach you really how to wield uh, the, the spear. Wielding means uh, to move in a circular fashion. So, let's start with it. The spear is wielded in the following way. It goes like this, 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 this. Okay, first thing what you will see is that I, the spear is really sliding through my hands. So I'm going to move it, move it, move it, move it, and I'm going to move the spear really in my hands. Second thing, I'm, when I'm uh, wielding the spear in a circular fashion, I'm doing that uh, in the central line. So my central line is the line of attack. That is one thing. So you see here, I'm going to do the central line, or if I show you like this, it's the central line movement. Okay, third thing. You see, I am moving from down to up. And that is one of the peculiarities actually of uh, Kalari Payat and the way uh, the warriors were used to wield their weapons within the system of Kalari Payat, many attacks were from down to up. This in contrast to many other martial arts. So they had, they had techniques in order to attack from down to up. So this one is also from down to up, from down to up. So how do we going to wield uh, the spear? Well, basically, it is, it is wielding like this. Like this. So, I'm moving it here in a circular fashion, so in this, in a central line. Then I put it a little bit back, like this. Then this one comes and I move it in the central line. When I'm moving the spear from down to up, so in this fashion, I'm going also to step forward like this. I pull, then the other step comes, and the other step like this. Also, my step, the step which I'm doing, and the attack which I'm doing, they go simultaneously. So, one, pull, Two, pull, three, pull, four. So again, one, pull, two, pull, three. Practice this and then you can do it more fast. So one, two, three, four. So if you're practicing a little bit, then you can uh, add speed and you can do it like this. Okay, where is the attack in this movement? First of all, it can be a wielding movement. So you do very fast, you wield the weapon like this. That can keep an enemy, your opponent, at a distance. But of course, it's not really a strong attack. Another attack what you can do it is by uh, cutting this movement into small parts and to emphasize the uh, down to up movement so you go one because this is the attack this is you want you want to hit him from down to up so this is the important part you pull the spear and attack the other side like this this you also can Pull the weapon with your hind leg, with, with the hind 
hand, so the hand which is at the back, at the tail of the spear, in order to give it leverage, like this. So, one, two. You can push it in and you can pull it with this whole hand. So really, it goes like this, this movement, this, the other side, this, 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 and you release, when pressing, you release the, the spear and it goes up like this, this, this. Well, I think that's a very difficult and complicated movement. That's why this episode, I give you only one thing to practice, and that is this movement. Please continue practicing this. If you, if you have mastered this one, the forms later on will be very easy. Okay, guys, I hope you find this video very interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button and the like button and see you next time.